question is it okay to walk up to a drive through window to order my food I don't have a car, but I'm often walking around town where many drive through chains are located. Would it be weird if I were to use the drive through windows on foot or maybe on a bike or something? In our town, the lines are usually longer than the lines at the window, and I don't want to have to go through all the trouble of buying food inside the restaurant when I'm leaving immediately afterwards. Am I being weird? That's from walking in Wisconsin. I Listen, I don't want to poke name. a hole in this, but it won't work. Yeah, That's they won't, what they're asking. A, a lot of places won't serve you. No, no, I mean like physically, physics wise, you got it. There's a weight sensor that alerts them that there's a car there that you're just not going to be able to trigger. Man, this person's Whoa, super fucking fat. You don't know. Okay, I didn't they think love of fast that. food, but they also love walking. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe you just um, carry some like barbells with you and just like fucking slam it Thor style on the ground. That would also help you burn I off don't the think that's a way to in- I don't think that's a way to entreat service. I don't think I don't think <laughs> slamming barbells. Bring me burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think that you're gonna be if you went with like a group of friends and you all pretended you were an invisible car, <gasps> they'd probably feel bad enough for you to throw you oh, some chicken nuts. Yeah, like um like a like a mime car. You could be like a postmodern art car. Okay, but mine car's not gonna set off the weight thing, is it? Well, if you all stand on each other's shoulder, then jump up and down real quick. Yeah, like you're in a car. What are you talking about? Well, That's I mean, you just cars- gotta concentrate the weight into one spot. I think the question: Are you being weird? Yes. Yeah. Yes, but does that mean it's bad? That's for no. cars. <laughs> that <laughs> Try is- to imagine this in, in your in your head. You've walked through this little scenario, but I don't think you fully considered the part where you're in line with other cars <laughs> as a person. <laughs> Like slowly walking up as the line scooches forward, and you're standing there like you're a car. And What's you're important not. is that you have to do that thing where it looks like you're sitting down in the seat with your hand on the steering wheel, and then when somebody pulls up too close to you, you got to spin around and start yelling at them silently mm-hmm. and like waving your hand at them, like. Oh, bah, bah, bah. And it's probably important. It's probably good to say like pup 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 yeah, pup 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 and kind of bounce a little bit so they know the car's still running. Won't the illusion be like? cast off though once the person behind you inevitably tries to run over you no you're in a smart car i guess like a like they're a, very tiny they're very tiny can you go through a drive through very tiny can you go through a drive through on a segway what if you went through on a bicycle in which you built a cardboard car around and no one can tell the difference <laughs> If the concern is being weird, I think you firmly veered into that territory. <laughs> sure. Go on one of those bikes that's stacked on top of another bike. He sure, should... that's not a thing. Oh, uh, yes, it is, Justin. <sighs> Someone's welded a bike frame on top of a bike frame, and it's like two bike frames tall. That's a thing. Another solution is you go to the Taco Bell, and you get some spicy sauce, drain that in your mouth, and then you'll turn into a hot rod like that one cartoon. Are you talking about Turbo Teen? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been a, like 140 episodes since our last Turbo Teen reference. <laughs> it's, <laughs> Welcome it's, back, Turbo Teen. <laughs> it's a Candle Night's Miracle. That's a, fa- that's a talking franchise. Talking about Turbo Teen again. That is a franchise that is just itching and raring and roaring for a reboot. Gotta get a Turbo Teen. Shia LaBeouf cast him in that. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. He's he's obviously shown his prowess at being in movies where cars turn into other shit and vice versa. So you think you want to see Shia LaBeouf? I don't want to pigeonhole LaBeouf, but I think that in 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 the light of recent controversy, we should we should try and get the kid back in the picture. He wants to get into a family friendly picture, family family like f- Turbo Teen two thousand. But here's the thing, Shia tips from us to you: you need to make sure to call that thing Turbo Teen. And you need to make sure to license the Turbo Teen license oh God, yes. from whoever does own that. Don't just write a movie called Boy Car about a boy that eats hot sauce and turns into cars. Yo, I'm back with another Shia LaBea Ridge. It's, it's called Boy it's, Car. It's, it's um, called uh, uh, Vroom, Vroom Boy. Uh, apparently, Shia LaBeouf, whenever he did get into this hot water. And by the way, I love Shia LaBeouf. I don't. I, I think he's great. Whatever he's doing. Even Stevens, Transformers, that one Sigur Rós music video where he got his dick out. I'm f- I'm a big fan what? of all of those things. Do you think when that when that stuff broke bad with Shia, fellow Even Stevens star Beans thought it maybe it was time for Beans Ascendant? T- time for Beans to make his play <laughs> at the big show? 
Um, that Travis, that got... if you don't stop sending us fucking pictures of giant bicycles, it's bike I'm on, top on top of bikes on top of bikes. Yeah, Travis, I'm quitting the show. You said it wasn't a thing. I want school, you son. Yeah, well, I'm. Lo- I love this school. This welcome to uh, Travis McElroy's school for audio podcasts. Here, here's where listeners come to be educated about things they can't see. Don't do this thing, by the way. Don't, no, don't just do go this inside thing. and wait in the just line. Just go inside. Like an adult. I feel bad. Just go inside and wait in the line. Is it weird that like we we choose like a rando celeb to beat up on every week? And I don't like. I genuinely don't like that part of the I show. I feel like of all the ones we've done, though, Shia LaBeouf, he's still got a lot of power behind him. I feel the We're worst about fire. Shia LaBeouf though, because he's but like, we. He's already getting it from like all sides, like front, back, left, well, and right. We should pick someone no. who's like on top, who's like a darling, and be like, "Fuck you, Jennifer Lawrence." No. But the, here's the thing. He, no, you watch your mouth. Uh, See? She, she's America's sweetheart. Exactly. I, I, th- I feel uh. like with Shia, what's good about uh, that is we didn't want to be timely with making fun of Shia, so we waited until the wound might conceivably have started to heal. And then we go back in. We start digging. Oh, is this a fresh scab here? Let us just check this out. I feel <laughs> kind of terrible, and I will for the rest of the Shia, episode. if you're listening, we're sorry. We loved you. And this is why you. we can't build a celebrity fan base, because everybody's a friend of everybody. Yeah, because we've made fun of everybody at this point.